What's up everybody? My name is Hong Nguyen and welcome to Golden Nugget Book Review. So if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And in this channel, what I do is that I take one golden nugget from a book that I'm reading and I share it with you guys under five minutes in the video. So also what I do is that I make the golden nugget implies that the information is uh, actually useful. At least I, I believe it's useful. So I hope you guys would agree too. Okay, so let's get it right into it. Now, in today's book, I want to talk about, um, it's called The Outline of Science by J.A. Thompson. Now, I fell on a very interesting fact and it made me think about something. So I want to tell you guys about that interesting fact that I find interesting and then we'll get into uh, why I think that it's, um, it could be a very useful bit of information, at least in terms of um, realization and contemplation, right? So one thing that you guys have to, that I learned from this book, like the concept here or the, the idea, it's actually a fact, okay? So the sun, we all know that our planet revolves around the sun right and because the sun has a gravitational pull and also our planet has its own gravitational pull and of course at the speed it's turning around the sun and it's turning quite fast like I don't uh, I don't remember the, the exact uh, speed of how of how fast the planet is actually going but it's going really fast and now one thing that you guys have to realize is that there's a very delicate balance going on here so what it is is that if ever something happens to the sun to change its gravitational pull and our, our planet, just a little change in its gravitational pull, well, that, could, that could cause havoc. That could literally send our planet flying out of orbit. Because right now, let's say my fist is the sun and we're going around the sun like that. Now, if something goes wrong, this, this delicate balance is off, then instead of going around like this, it just it goes off into a tangent and we go off into space. And God knows, like, and for sure, the way I see it, if we go far from the sun, we're pretty much doomed, screwed, right? So this delicate balance, I mean, it's been maintained for thousands and millions and millions of years. And... It makes you wonder. So now we're gonna get into the part where, like how is this bit of information, this fact useful? Well, when you think about it, it makes you believe in something higher, a higher power, divinity or, or, or something, right? That's kind of there because I mean, all it takes is one little um, change in the gravi gravitational pull of either, either one, either the sun, or uh, our earth or both and we're gone man so this this delicate balance is maintained and we go about our lives and sometimes I guess we don't think about these kind of things but it makes you believe that there is more to to all of this than just meets the eye you know for people who are maybe atheists and, and don't believe in, in a higher power a divinity yeah, the universe or, or something that's you know kind of watching over us then I think this could you know maybe help you contemplate that uh, a little further and maybe explore that you know not to say that you have to go all religious in it or anything like that but I mean there is definitely in my opinion something going on right and also it makes you more appreciative of uh, of your existence because really it could all end like this like all it takes is a little shift in gravitational pull from one or the other or both sides and we're pretty much done. So I mean, I found this fact super interesting and it made me realize that, you know what, we have to be grateful and I think that we, uh, there is something above, not necessarily above, but something higher, something, you know, and I like to believe that we're all here for a reason and it's not just uh, random. But when you think of something like this, then how can it be, right? All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Four minutes and 50 seconds. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And done.